guys, this is Tiki from GrowItGirl.com. I'm coming to you today with a quick tutorial. It's a DIY clutch purse. It's super simple and it doesn't require any sewing. Stay tuned to learn how to do this. Okay, Davis, for this project, you only need four items. Yes, just four. You need a zipper, adhesive, ribbon for a zipper pull and of course your fabric first we're going to start off with the zipper go ahead and remove that from the package um, I will let you know that most zippers if you get yours from like Walmart will have a staple in this uh, inside of the package so it takes a little bit to pull that apart now we're going to go ahead and move the one piece of fabric to the side and you're going to go ahead and start with applying adhesive to one side of the zipper. Now I say do this one side at a time because this glue does dry super super quick. Also to a quick note, I pre-cut the fabric. Um, I actually bought a half a yard of fabric but I only used a quarter of that for this project. Um, and then I folded it over and cut it so that way both sides were uniform and they match perfectly. So you want to go ahead and place the wrong side of the fabric down on the uh, side of the zipper that has the glue on it. And you want to line it up just to make sure that it's even and it's in the right place that you want it. I tried to center mine as best I could. And I did also apply the glue from end to end. want to make sure that you firmly press the um, zipper and the fabric together. Now you're going to turn it around and we're going to start this process on the other side. So go ahead and apply that glue again from end to end. And take your time with this because this particular glue um, is a little messy. It's like using a glue gun but it's not quite as bad. Um, it is water soluble until it dries completely so that's always a good thing and you'll see why in just a few moments. So I'm going to go ahead and place the fabric down on the zipper and I'm trying to line up both sides of the fabric so that the corners match. And I'm also trying to get it in the perfect place because I don't want a lot of the zipper to show. And about the glue being a little messy, but um, like I said, it's water soluble until it dries. So if you make a mistake, just go ahead and use a wet Q-tip to make any corrections that you need. Um, I placed the fabric in the right spot and then I noticed that some of the glue was kind of seeping coming to the top so I just moved that. Here we go. And this is the close up look of how um, the zipper looks once you apply the fabric to both sides. And then we'll go ahead and flip this over so that you can check out the back side of it. This is how the back side looks. And then we can, uh, you let this dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then once it's completely dry, then you can move on to the next step. To let you know that you do need to unzip the zipper, I forgot to do it, and then I had to end up doing it later. Um, so unzip the zipper before we move to this, and now we're going to go ahead and apply glue to the uh, outer edges. And also too, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Um, I Not only do I have the DIYs, but I also have hair, beauty, and a cooking tutorial, so definitely stick around. So I'm just going ahead and uh, applying the glue to each edge. Um, if you use this particular glue, just be careful with it because you see it does ooze out a little bit. Um, I told you before, it is messy, but if you're not paying attention, you'll end up dropping glue and having to go back and clean it up. And if you notice, yes, we are applying glue to the right side of the fabric because this is going to end up being the outside of the fabric. So you just want to make sure you apply it to all of the edges. Then you take the other side of the um, brick, see again the right side, and you're going to uh, press that firmly together. And once we get to our last step, you'll know that um, it will all make sense because we're not doing any sewing at all. And just make sure that you get any puckers or ripples out because you definitely want to make sure that the fabric lines up just right. 
and I end up doing this because I was buying clutches and the ones that I have weren't big enough so I was like well let me make one that I can um, carry around that will carry my makeup and all of my goodies and everything that I need to take with me like my gum and my hand sanitizer and my makeup and everything so the last step is to go ahead and uh, flip this inside out and what I don't show you in the video is me doing the zipper pull I just cut the fabric um, well cut the ribbon and just pulled pulled it through the zipper and just looped it through and it's just easy as that I would definitely recommend doing that and if you want to see more again check out the link below to the blog and here we go with the finished product I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for watching have a great day